Tangled dog could kill wolf and bear. When you see a dog wearing a spiked collar, what do you think of? Do you believe that the owner is displaying strength? Or do you think that the animal is meant to protect its guardians? Whatever the case, it is always best to steer clear of such dogs. For thousands of years, the Turkish have been housing a fierce breed of dogs called the Kangal. It is a massive and powerful breed that is best known for protecting humans. Yes, you heard us right. Kangals may be ferocious, but they're peaceful towards their owners, their pets, and family members. Whenever a wolf shows up to harm livestock, the Kangal dog will always become a shield for the pets. This is because of their protective and loyal nature. However, do you wonder about the winner when a Kangal engages in a fight with a predator? If so, this video will eliminate all your doubts and curiosity regarding this breed. About 35,000 years ago, people in Asia and the Middle East kept wolves as pets. They started domesticating them to reduce their angry nature towards men. Of course, their primary aim was to use the wolves for protection against other predators. With time, evolution occurred and humankind got dogs. While the animals look different in their appearances and nature, they are alike in many things. For instance, did you know that both the species share 98.9% .9 of their DNA? Yes, this is true. Your favorite dog is just a few chromosomes away from being a ferocious wolf. Many dogs have been domesticated repeatedly over the years, which is why most seem timid and less scary than wolves. However, one breed has been preserved over the years, and it's called the Turkish Kangal Dog. People breed Kangals for their loyalty and ferociousness. This is why they are also exported throughout the world. So, are you wondering why people adore a Kangal and fear it at the same time? Or, what happens when this breed comes across fierce predators such as wolves? Well, this breed has Assyrian roots as per historical art and has descended from a lineage of ferocious dogs in Turkey. This is why the Kangals are large, tough, and have wide heads. You will also observe a distinctive silhouette when you view it from the side. So, it is no challenge to choose this dog in a lineup. Besides that, Kangals also have a massive bite force that will terrify you to your core. You will learn later in this clip just how powerful this breed is and why you should be using it as a guard dog. Kangals also measure between 28 and 34 inches tall. They have curly hair, which is up and over their backs. Another interesting fact about Kangals is that they can weigh anywhere from 90 to 150 pounds. This breed may be protective guard for flocks now, but they didn't start that way. Initially, Kangals were only affordable by elite Turkish members and were used as personal guards. These dogs used to protect their masters from all threats and were also the best for property protection. However, what pushed farmers towards this breed is a different reason. Locals who had Kangals observed that whenever their children went out onto the field, the pet also followed them. The Kangals are friendly, so they never harmed the kids but protected them. For instance, when a child went too far from the property, the Kangals used a distinctive bark to alert them. This made the kid move back within the property line. So, the Turkish citizens realized that while these dogs may seem harmful, they protect defenseless humans such as children. Thus, the parent syndrome extended, and people started using the Kangals for flock protection. Farmers now take Kangals with their animals to protect them from predators. These dogs have the wits, agility, and speed to prevent animal attacks, such as wolves and jackals. Not only that, but they can also intercept a bear. Kangals are accepted by other animals quickly before the flock even starts to go out. The sheep and cattle are familiarized with this breed from a young age. This is to form a long understanding between the animals and prevent future setbacks. The most interesting thing about these dogs and flocks is that they have a mutual understanding. When the flock is taken out for grazing, the Kangal protectors find a vantage point to have a bird's eye view. They keep a watch from a distance to spot all predators easily. When a Kangal spots a predator, it gives the flock a loud, distinctive bark. 
Upon hearing the sound, the animals group together and start to move back towards the farm. Meanwhile, the Kegels approach predators such as wolves. Typically, they bark a lot while approaching, and at most times, this is enough for the predator to give up and run away. However, this does not happen in all cases. That is why a Kangol and his backup are always ready to engage in a fight. In a fight, one Kangol holds down the predator from its neck, while the second tears through the flesh of the enemy. After all, they have a bite force of 743 PSI. However, it is not always that the Kangol turns out to be a winner in a fight. This is why humans have started pairing them with spiked collars. The accessory comes with six inch spikes that can pierce through flesh easily. This makes the Kangol more ferocious and enables them to win battles easily. Keep in mind that the Kangol is willing to die for flocks and other animals. For example, this breed has been captured on camera preventing wolf attacks on pet dogs. It is the reason that has made Kangol the favorite dog of Turkey. What do you think? How would a Kangol fare against other wild dogs such as German Shepherds and Labradors? Please share your thoughts in the comment section. If you love our content, please like, subscribe, and share.